hi everyone and welcome to another youtube video for today's video i'll be explaining the concept of probabilistic distribution and the types of probabilistic distribution we have in statistics i would also give examples of each of those types of probabilistic distribution we have in statistics so without further ado let's jump into the video and start learning properly <music> If I try to define what a probabilistic distribution is, I would like to go as far back as explaining again the concept of an experiment. So basically an experiment is actually that occurrence whose outcome is actually uncertain. That is if I have something that is happening and I cannot predict the outcome of such occurrence then I have an experiment. So the list of the possible outcome of an experiment is actually known as a sample space. So let me take the experiment of a football match for example. So we all know that the outcome of a football match is actually equal to the win we have lost and we have drawn. So the list of all these possible outcomes is actually going to be called a sample space inside the curly bracket. Now each of the value win, loss or draw are actually known as a random variable. So each of the values present in the sample space of the experiment of a football match is actually called a random variable. So a random variable is that variable as a result of a random experiment. Now each of those random variables right here has a probabilistic value attached to them. So the probability that a team is going to win the match is actually equal to 1 over 3. The probability that a team is going to lose this match is equal to 1 over 3. And the probability that a team is going to draw the match is actually also equal to 1 over 3. When we have a mathematical function, that helps us to get the probabilistic value attached to each of the random variable as a result of an experiment we call that mathematical function a probabilistic distribution so a probabilistic distribution is actually a mathematical function that helps us to get the probabilistic value attached to each of the random variables present in an experiment. So we can decide to graph this by saying on the x-axis we have the value of each of the random variable and on the y-axis we have the probabilistic value. When we plot this on the graph we are going to be having different shape of lines or curve. This is the idea of probabilistic distribution. So for different experiments we have different graphs that defines them. So the random variables produce the type of probabilistic distribution that we have and that leads us to the types of random variables that we have. So we basically have two types of random variables. So we have the discrete random variable and we have the continuous random variable. So the discrete random variable comes together to form a discrete probabilistic distribution and your continuous random variables come together to form a continuous probabilistic distribution. Let's talk about the idea of a discrete random variable. So a random variable is actually said to be discrete if it is actually countable and can take a finite number of values. One of the most important property of a discrete random variable is based on the fact that it can never take a decimal value and it can also take a negative value it must be countable so examples of discrete random variables include the number of cars you have in your garage the number of courses you are taking in a, in a semester the number of times you eat in a day and so much more and a continuous random variable on the other hand can actually take an infinite number of values or we can say it can take a wide range of values and it can also take decimal values so examples of continuous random variables actually includes we have our pressure we have weight we have speed we have amount of money we have volume just to mention a few so let's try to talk about the types of probabilistic distribution we have in statistics and i will be starting with the idea of the discrete probabilistic distribution so as we all know a discrete probabilistic distribution is as a result of discrete random variables coming together and uh the mathematical function that actually defines a discrete probabilistic distribution is actually known as a probability mass function which we can write in short as PMF. For a discrete probabilistic distribution, we can get the expected value, we can get the variance and we can also get the standard deviation. Some examples of your discrete probabilistic distribution includes we have the Bernoulli, we have the binomial distribution, we have the Poisson distribution, we have the geometric distribution, we have the hypergeometric distribution, just to mention a few. For your continuous probabilistic distribution, it is as a result of several continuous random variables coming together and then uh, a mathematical function that actually defines a continuous probabilistic distribution is known as a probability density function which you can write in short 
as PDF. Some of the most popular examples of your continuous uh, distribution includes the normal distribution, we have the exponential distribution, we have the uniform aka the rectangular distribution, we have the triangular distribution just to mention a few. In the next set of videos, I would be teaching us how to get the expected value, the variance and the standard deviation for each type of the probabilistic distribution. If you learned something new from this video and you actually enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and uh, you know, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also in the comment section, tell me your favorite type of probabilistic distribution that you know, you've actually come about. So we'll see you in the next one and thanks for making it to the end of this video. Bye for now.